गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ विजय गुप्ता एंड यू आर वॉचिंग बायोलॉजी क्लासेज सो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस लेक्चर ऑफ बायोलॉजी एज यू नो दैट करेंटली आई एम मेकिंग ऑल माई वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू ह्यूमन स्केलेटल सिस्टम सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल चेल यू इट्स लेक्चर नंबर सेवन एंड आई विल चेल यू अबाउट द बोन्स ऑफ अवर फोर लिम्स मीन्स द बोन्स ऑफ अवर आर्म एंड द बोन्स ऑफ अवर हैंड सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट वी नो दैट अवर स्केलेटल सिस्टम इज especially divided into two main parts the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton the appendicular skeleton consists of the limbs and girdles so these are the pectoral girdles which are formed by the fusion of two bones scapula and clavicle and from the pectoral girdle limbs are arises in a same way this is the pelvic girdle and from the pelvic girdle the lower limbs are arises so these girdles and limb bones are collectively form our appendicular skeleton in our appendicular skeleton the upper part is called as the fore limb so today i am going to tell you about the bones of fore limb fore limbs so as you can see in this diagram there are total 30 bones present in each arm the longest bone is known as humerus that is one in number another radius and ulna there are two bones which form the four part four uh, part of the our limb these are the radius and ulna so these are two in numbers so one is humerus our uh, four limb consists of total 30 bones one humerus one radius one ulna so as i told you this is one humerus this is the radius this is the ulna now carpal means the wrist part of our body so the carpal part consists of total eight small bones so it is the carpal and carpal part consists of total eight bones as you can see in this diagram these eight bones which i made with different colors are known as the carpal bones after the carpal the met part is metacarpal and the metacarpal part consists of total five bones these are the metacarpal five bones and finally the last part of our hand is flanges and the flanges are 14 in number which i have shown in green in color so flanges are the finger bones which are present in each finger so these are the this it is with the calculation of our bones total 30 one humerus one radius one ulna five carpals five metacarpals and 14 flanges total is 30 so now i will tell you in detail about these bones first of all start with humerus humerus is the largest and longest bone of our fore limb it is it form this part of our hand and this humerus is attached with the pelvic girdle sorry with the uh, pectoral girdle inside a cavity which is known as a glenoid cavity and i have told you about the glenoid cavity in my uh, previous videos of uh, pectoral girdle so you can see the video so this is the humerus bone and this humerus bone consists of two outgrowth in its anterior end this outgrowth is known as the greater tubercle while another is known as the lesser tubercle and this lesser tubercle fitted inside the scapula bone of pectoral girdle with a cavity that is known as a glenoid cavity so it forms our shoulder joint now the below the lower part or you can say the posterior part or the distal part of humerus bone consists of two outgrowths the outer is capitulum while the inner is trochlea the capitulum is attached with the radius bone and the trochlea is attached with the ulna bone both the capitulum and trochlea form our elbow joint so as you can see in the diagram this part is known as the elbow where capitulum attached with radius while trochlea attached with the ulna so it was about the radius and ulna bone now these radius and ulna bones are fused together at two different ends at two opposite ends and the middle area it they are not joined with each other and these joints when these bones are fused together then a joint is formed that is called the radio ulnar joint because both the bones are radio and uh, radius and ulna so this joint is known as the proximal because it is the nearest to the appendicular skeleton Pro proximal means nearest so this joint of radius and ulna is known as that is pro sorry proximal radio ulnar joint while this joint of radius and ulna is known as distal radio ulnar joint and the middle part is blank now next bones are the carpal bones as you can see in this diagram <coughs> these are the carpal bones and these carpal bones are total 8 in number and arranged in two rows the proximal row and the distal row 
the proximal row consists of four bones while the distal row also consists of four bones these proximal bones or of car or the carpal bones attach with the radius bone they do not attach with the ulna bone as you can see this diagram the carpal bones are attached with the radius bone only and with the help of a joint that is known as radiocarpal joint radius and carpal both are fused together with the help of radiocarpal joint and these four bones of carpal uh, these four carpal bones which are attached to the radius uh, bone are scaphoid this one lunate this one pisiform this one and trinculatural bone this one so these four bones are attaches with the carpal bone and form radiocarpal joint or the wrist joint now remaining carpal bones are as follows so total eight carpal bones are there these are the total eight carpal, carpal bones and these names are very important for you so number one escaphoid bone this is the boat shaped bone lunate bone this is the lunate bone third one is pisiform it is a, a small outgrowth like bone that is a pisiform bone next is trinculatal bone it is a trinculatal bone with a sky blue color next is hamate so this is the hamate bone next is capitate this is purple colored bone capitate next is trapezoid so t denoted for trapezoid and tz trapezium so this is the trapezium bone so these bones are known as the carpal bones and total they are 8 in number so these are the carpal bones now we'll talk about the metacarpals the metacarpal bones are 5 in number as i told you before and these metacarpals are present in our palm region or you can say these are the palm bones so these are the metacarpals and there are total 5 metacarpals present in each hand so 1 2 5 and they are denoted with the roman letters 1 2 3 4 and 5 and these metacarpals are attached with the flanges bones so these are the metacarpals bone now we will talk about the flanges bone flanges are 14 in number the thumb consists of two flanges while remaining second third fourth and fifth finger consist of total uh, sorry consist of three uh, flanges bones in each finger so the thumb consists of two flanges bones the lower is known as proximal the upper is known as distal next the index finger consists of total three flanges the lowermost is proximal next one is middle and the last one is distal and at the end of distal bone each finger consists of nails in the same way the middle finger the ring finger and the little finger consist of three flanges each is known as proximal middle and distal so each flanges bone of fingers consists of total three parts while the thumb consists of two flanges the proximal and the distal so it was all about the flanges bone so it was all about the hand bones and our arm bones i hope all the things are very clear to you still if you have any type of confusion any question you may ask in the comment section i will try my best to reply you so in the in this video it was all about the bones of forelimb in my next video i will tell you about the bones of our hind limb or the leg bones so thanks for watching have a good day